Hey everyone, quick back at Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about column chromatography. Column chromatography is a chromatography technique in which separation is carried out in column. The column is filled with a stationary face which can either be silica, aluminia or cellulose. The bottom of the column is packed with cotton or glass wool to support the stationary face. The column preparation is usually carried out by two methods. Number one, wet method and number two, dry method. In wet method, the stationary face is mixed with a mobile face to make a slurry and then packed in the column. In dry method, the powder of stationary face is directly added to the column. Once the powdered stationary face is packed, the mobile face is flushed in the column to make it wet. Now, any of the method can be used for column preparation. However, care must be taken to avoid any bubbles in the column while packing the stationary face. Let's see the working of column chromatography. The sample is loaded with the mobile face on the top of the column. Once the sample is loaded, the mobile face is continuously passed to cause separation. The mobile face moves down the column because of gravity. Separation of molecules occur due to their differences in interaction with the mobile phase and the stationary phase. For example, the green molecules interact more with the mobile phase and moves fast down the column, while the dark blue and the violet molecules interact more with the stationary phase and hence move slowly. To increase the flow rate of the mobile phase, a pump or pressurized gas like argon or nitrogen can be used. Once the separation is completed, the samples are usually collected as fractions. The mobile phase leaving the column is known as eluate, while the sample molecules leaving the column is called eluide. Now, depending on the type of stationary phase used, there can be several types of column chromatography. If the stationary phase is adsorbent material like aluminia or silica, then it is known as adsorption chromatography. If the stationary phase is ion exchange resin, then it is known as ion exchange chromatography. If the stationary phase is attached with a ligand that binds a specific molecule such as protein or enzyme, then it is known as affinity chromatography. And if the stationary phase is a porous gel or a bead, then it is known as gel permeation chromatography.